Kaladin Stormbless has to be my favourite fantasy protagonist that I've ever read. I want to take some of your time today to explain to you why I think he's one of the most well-realised, well-written fantasy protagonists of our time. Hey guys, it's Christian from Lost in Discovery and before I get into the video today I want to quickly apologise that I was not able to get a video up this past weekend. I've been under the weather and when I tried to film I just I just couldn't do it man. I was coughing, I was, I, it was not pretty. The new video I'm working on is quite big, requires a bit more research and editing and everything, all that put together. So I want to do that one properly, I'm delaying it slightly. And today with some time off work I want to take some of your time to have more of a chill video and chill discussion about my favourite and maybe your favourite character, Kaladin from the Stormlight Archive. Now if you have not read the Stormlight Archive I want this video to be accessible to you so I'm going to keep it spoiler free. Um, there is a bit of a spoiler warning though for those people who are a bit more hardcore. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the setup and basic events of The Way of Kings, which is the first book in the Stormlight Archive. If you want to go in completely blind to that book and know nothing, then yeah, don't watch this video. Me personally, if I was to watch this video before reading the Stormlight Archive, I wouldn't be upset or annoyed about any of the things I'm going to talk about here. So I'm going to keep it very, very light. If I go any further than that, I'll let you know, don't worry. I'm very conscious of my spoilers. So in The Way of Kings, when you are first introduced to Kaladin, you see him as a squad leader in an army. His boys, his crew are following him to the death. They believe in Kaladin so much and you are immediately intrigued by this guy. You want to know why his crew are going to follow him to death. You want to know why people are so glad to be in Kaladin's squad. Cut to the next chapter. We see that Kaladin is now a slave. He is down in the dumps to say the least and he is going shipped off to another war at play here. Kaladin arrives at a place called the Shattered Plains where there is a battle between the humans and the Parshendi. Imagine the Shattered Plains to be something like the Grand Canyon where there are huge chasms separating the land and to get across these chasms the army uses bridges and the people running those bridges are the slaves. These bridge runners all carry these giant bridges together, they run into arrow fire, they place the bridges down over the chasms so the armies can pass. Kaladin finds himself in bridge 4, one of the most dangerous positions for a bridge to be in and he is with a group of slaves who have basically all accepted this as their death sentence. When you follow this initial chapter with Kaladin in the cage getting shipped off to the Shattered Plains, it's very very clear from the onset that he's not just a grumpy edgelord who's like down in the dumps. It becomes very very clear that this guy is suffering from depression. This is a central aspect to his character that is written so realistically and so beautifully throughout the entire Stormlight Archive that is released so far. Basically Kaladin has to come to terms that this is his life as a bridge runner right now and he also finds himself needing to be the leader and the beacon of hope for all of these guys that are stuck with him in Bridge 4. Now I've said it before but when I read The Way of Kings way back in late 2017, early 2018, I had just moved overseas by myself didn't know anyone, didn't know what the hell I was doing but I moved solo and I basically just had this book with me for company <laughs> and I really identified with Kaladin's struggle throughout The Way of Kings. Now it's not to say like I had experiences comparable to like running into arrow fire in a battle uh, but it kind of felt like that sometimes. <laughs> I very much was taking on a lot of new things, a lot of new challenges that I was kind of thrown into the deep end and I didn't know exactly how to cope, I just had to do it. And that's very much something that Kaladin had to deal with throughout the Way of Kings. He was thrown into this impossible situation with not many resources to work with and he just had to survive and get through it. Now 
Now, as Kaladin starts to find out he has some more greater abilities than the average person, he has a bit more going for him. The weight of having to be the savior for all these guys in Bridge 4 kind of dawns on him more. It weighs him down more. He feels like he is the rock that is holding all of this together and it eats him up inside. He comes so close many times throughout this book to just give up. And the way Sanderson writes this, it's, uh, it's done so well. Every Kaladin chapter, you are just there with him and his inner thoughts and inner dialogues make perfect sense. And it's written in a way that if you're going through a hard time in your life or if you suffer from depression, you really, really identify with this. And I feel like Sanderson must have done his research because it is written in such a way that just, it just works and it just makes sense. Through Kaladin's successes or his losses, but even when he is succeeding and you feel like this is a huge moment for him, yes, like we're finally moving past certain parts of the story, he still has this darkest side to him where he gets pulled down. He still has this survivor guilt. He has all of this mental struggle follows him throughout the entire series it doesn't matter how powerful or how amazing or how badass kaladin can get and yes these are incredible moments but it still has this struggle this depression this guilt you know this mental weight that he's carrying with him stays with him and it's not like magical powers or badass moments can save him from that and that's why i really really love the way sanderson has written this character it's so much more interesting than the stereotypical like fantasy farm boy who gets powers and now he's all chill and you know whatever maybe he becomes evil or maybe he gets high on the power it's not like that with Kaladin it's a much more nuanced reading experience and you feel like you're with a person you're not with a magical being you're not with a superhero you're with a real guy and that's what has made Kaladin such an identifiable character for me. He's a character that you just want to see succeed throughout this whole story. I'm pretty sure everyone who is reading the Stormlight Archive has truly identified with Kaladin and all of Sanderson's skill as an author have really been poured into this one character so well. It is such a personal and such a sensitive view of depression and a person who is just trying to be okay with themselves and love themselves and feel warmth and happiness. And I feel like that's what we're all trying to do in life. We're all to some degree on a similar journey that Kaladin is on. We're all trying to get better. We're trying to love ourselves. We're trying to help the ones we care about and we're trying to improve as people. It is done so well throughout Kaladin's arcs in book one, two, three, and four especially that he is probably the most relatable and most well-realized character that I have read in a novel. Now to be fair, I am very early in my reading journey, my rediscovery of reading, so you know, I might find someone else later, but because I started with Kaladin and I'm continuing this journey with him, I feel like it's always going to be him. That is my favorite protagonist. And I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. Now, I know I've sounded so congested in this video, but I really just wanted to say hi and I wanted to talk about this whilst I've got some time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this more relaxed video of just me chilling and talking to you guys. We've known each other long enough now that you can deal with me being a bit sick when I film. I promise you I'm okay, it's nothing major. Let me know if you love Kaladin or any of the other Stormlight characters just as much as I do. Oh, last thing, I wanted to say a massive thank you for all the great support on my last video. Holy crap, 20,000 views that quickly from 5,000 to almost 6,000 subscribers in like a week. Bloody insane, thank you so much. Yeah, lots to talk about, see you guys soon. I'm rambling, I'm rambling, I'm going back to bed.